I'm Owen Kopp. And I'm James Clark. And today, we're in front of Cleveland Metro Park Zoo, learning about their Mexican gray wolves. And then we'll have a sit-down interview with the communication and outreach manager. The most recent count was 196 animals in the wild. It's very low. Well, the main cause for Mexican gray wolves going extinct was that when humans started to settle in the southwest region of the U.S. and in Mexico, um, that expansion kind of pushed wolves um, out of their own territory a little bit. Wolves started um, feeding on human livestock supplies, um, and that really caused a lot of human-wolf conflict. So unfortunately, um, after the turn of the century, people hunted Mexican gray wolves almost to the point of extinction. In fact, they were functionally extinct um, in order to avoid them preying on their livestock. In the wild, a Mexican gray wolf would only live about six to eight years. In a captive environment like a zoo, where they have regular health care, unlimited amounts of food, they can actually live up to 15 years. Uh, when they have pups, they have litters of about four to eight. It can vary quite a bit. What is unique about Mexican gray wolves is they're actually the most genetically distinct subspecies of all wolves, and that's very important. When we talk about breeding animals, we really want to preserve their genetics so that that subspecies doesn't go away. If we were to crossbreed with another species of wolf, um, Mexican gray wolves would no longer exist as a subspecies, so it really wouldn't help their particular population. Well, one of the most interesting things about how we care for Mexican gray wolves in zoo populations is that we actually treat them as if they are wild animals. Unlike many of the other animals at the zoo that get regular um, handling by staff, they get trained, they get enrichment, um, they get a lot more contact with humans, we actually try to avoid doing that with Mexican gray wolves. And the reason for that is the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service actually manages the populations of Mexican gray wolves in zoos in order to keep them all as potentially releasable animals. So we want those wolves to have natural behavior. We want to interfere with them as little as possible. We want them to still remain afraid of humans. So we actually try to keep their environment pretty wild. It's very different. We try to keep their exhibit as natural looking as possible. We don't put any artificial um, enrichment or toys or anything like that in their exhibit. We really want it to look like an environment that they might be in in the wild. I think wolves are most afraid of humans. I think the main reason that they have declined is because of humans and hunting. So um, they're fearful of humans and we see that when we're around their exhibit as well. We actually, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service already is working towards a couple of protected areas specifically for Mexican gray wolves. We have a reintroduction project already in place where they have successfully reintroduced Mexican gray wolves into somewhat protected areas in their natural um, habitat. So a lot of the zoos that have pups or even some adult animals are uh, then placed out into the wild for successful reintroduction. So we're already working towards that. The numbers of Mexican gray wolves were, like I said, functionally extinct in the 1970s and they have climbed up to 196 animals now. That sounds like it's not a lot of animals, but it's a lot more than zero. So that project is really going well. What I love most about the wolves is their complex social structure. As many people have heard, wolves have a pack um, structure that has uh, an alpha wolf and an omega wolf, and we see that here at the zoo as well. The zoo, the zoo wolves will interact in a way that really shows that there's a pecking order amongst them. We'll see them chasing the omega wolf around, and we'll see the alpha wolf really in control and con kind of getting first dibs at food and uh, where she displaces other animals to in the pack. 